Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. So today we will be hauling. I have quite a few items that I wanna show you guys. Some stuff I grabbed from Sephora, some stuff I grabbed from the drugstore, some stuff I actually grabbed from TJ Maxx, AKA Winners. I have a lot of stuff from a lot of places. If this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Simone. I would really appreciate all your support, so subscribe, like, comment down below. And yeah, let's jump into this haul. So y'all, I'm literally going off the viewfinder, so hopefully everything looks <laughs> a-okay. This is actually my second time filming this video. I filmed this haul already, but I didn't actually like my makeup look in that video. All these items that I showed you were picked up before the Sephora VIB sale. I'm still waiting for my items to, to come in from the Sephora VIB sale. So I know shipments are taking longer than usual. So until that time, until my second or I have like three, four packages coming in. So this haul is not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab as best as I can and just like grab and go and show y'all all the items because I'm a little bit of a mess right now. It's a mess, girl, I'm a mess, girl. Just, just bear with me. <laughs> I also broke my nail. Let's actually start out with some eyelashes that I grabbed from TJ Maxx, AKA Winners, AKA The Drugstore. So I grabbed um, these NY Mink 3D Max Volume Eyelashes. I grabbed quite a few of these. Um, I'll show you guys all the ones that I have, but this one in particular is NY65 in the style NY65. Is that correct? Yeah. And then I also grabbed NM17. These don't have any particular names on them, but it's crazy because I saw these online and I wanted to buy them. And then I walked into TJ Maxx, AKA Winners, and they were there. So what a steal. I also picked up some backups of my favorite eyelashes. These are from Kiss. These are the Russian volume eyelashes. I've showed you guys these before and I love these. I've mentioned these in my last favorites video, which I will link above if you have not yet watched it. And then I also grabbed these Kiss Lash Couture Matte Velvet Eyelashes and I actually wore these on my birthday and these are super duper cute, affordable. Kiss is really killing it with the lash game, so I have been loving these as well. Since we're on the topic of drugstore, let's just stick to drugstore items for now. I also grabbed this NYX Total Control Foundation. Now they re-released re this foundation. Um, this is the original foundation that they released like quite a few years ago. It was on sale for like $3.50. And I believe it's because that specific drugstore was, in, was closing. So they had like a huge clearance sale. So I grabbed this and I grabbed this in the shade, I believe this is Cappuccino. So this is the Total Control Drops. I don't know if this is like really a shade match for me. We'll see, but I can always mix it in with something and I've heard rave reviews. Again, they re relaunched this foundation, so I don't know, I, I might pick up the new one. I don't know, but I'm good with this one for now. I have not yet tried it, but I'm excited to try it out and it was super affordable, so why not? I also grabbed some makeup wipes. These e.l.f. makeup wipes are bomb, you guys. I love using these on clients if I'm doing someone's makeup or just on myself when I'm swatching things. These are super convenient. They're only $5, I believe, and they're so affordable. They work, I love them. I love e.l.f. just entirely, but these makeup wipes especially are bomb. I also grabbed the Patrick Star One Size Makeup Wipes. So I have never, I didn't try these when they first came out, but I actually kinda like these. They're really big and literally one wipe takes care of your entire face and I like that. And they're currently on sale on the Sephora website. I believe this is a pack of 10 and it was $6 something or somewhere around there. So these are super affordable. I really wanna use these for when I travel cause they're just uber convenient. But yeah, I grabbed some of these. Can never have enough makeup wipes. I also grabbed this Camo Concealer Sponge from e.l.f. This launched last year, and I believe this just became available in stores this year for me. This wasn't too expensive. I think this was like seven or eight dollars at the drugstore. So I love stocking up on sponges, especially drugstore sponges, and I really wanted to know how well this worked. I've heard a lot of people rave about this sponge. So we will see if you guys want me to try like a new trying first impressions, trying out new makeup, and I can try out a couple of items from this haul. I can definitely do that for you guys. <laughs> I have another e.l.f products clearly I have a thing for elf this is the clear brow and lash mascara this is like a staple product in my makeup routine I use this to set my eyebrows all the time I actually have an eyebrow tutorial currently up on my channel I will link it in the cards for you guys I love using this for that this is one of my favorite favorite drugstore products to use just to like really you know 
make your make your brow stay in place and this really works so i just purchased a bunch of eye brushes or makeup brushes from morphe so i'll show you guys that in my next haul and i also grabbed not from morphe but just in general i grabbed this japanesque angled brush i grabbed this from tj maxx aka winners and this was on sale and actually how much was this this was eight dollars so you can't go wrong i actually needed another um, bronzer brush or contour brush i like using these to like contour or add blush to my face and i specifically like the angle that this um if you can see the angle that this brush has love that for bronzing blush all of those things and i currently only have one brush that looks like this in my like brush where my brushes are so i just want to grab a second one just to have it on back up um and my other one's kind of beat up so i wanted this new one and yeah i've heard good things about japanesque so i'm excited to try this out so i did pick up quite a few primers actually only two one of them that i did grab is the sephora super matte moisturizer mattifying primer now the original primer i really really like the original sephora primer that's the h2o gel mattifying primer i rave about that all the time because it is my babe i love it they discontinued it and i have multiple backups of it because i cannot live without it so i was hoping to try this one out this is their new launch that just came out and it's right now currently on sale on the sephora website for like half off I actually got this at TG Maxx aka Winners for like $7 and right now it's on sale on the Sephora website for $15. So I grabbed two of these because I was worried that you know I would like it and so I didn't want to run out and not you know get a good deal on it. However this is just okay. It honestly doesn't really do much for me. It works well as a moisturizer. I mean I get it. I have one as a backup. This is the backup that I have that I haven't opened yet and I've been using the other one and I'm just like not really that impressed um to be honest it doesn't really do much in terms of mattifying my skin it doesn't really do anything for the skin i would even hope that it might smooth the skin but it doesn't really do much at all so this is kind of a disappointing product for me so yeah the next primer that i picked up is from touch and soul this is their no problem primer everybody used to rave about this back in the day do y'all remember this everybody used to like love the crap out of this primer touch and soul is no longer available in sephora at least in sephora canada which i'm really disappointed about because i really like some of their products i really like their eye glitters i really love those and so yeah i decided to pick up the let me try to get it out of the package first i grabbed this this was on sale for 13 dollars, and honestly i was like you can't beat that that's a good price good sale you got me i picked it up i grabbed it i want to see what everybody was raving about i'm curious and yeah i can't wait to try this out too speaking of sephora collection i also grabbed these sephora what are these called these are the sephora matte perfection foundations these are actually currently available at sephora too but i grabbed these at tj maxx aka winners for seven dollars a piece so i grabbed two shades because i wasn't sure what shade would mix would fit me the best um so i grabbed caramel dark caramel and truffle and i figured if i mix these two it would give me like a really good you know what i'm saying like a really good look um or match me really well currently at sephora these are 25 dollars each and i got each of these for seven dollars a pop so this was a steal this is also a matte foundation y'all know i love matte foundations i'm an oily skin girl so matte all the way and i can't wait to try these out i also randomly grabbed this highlighter i actually threw out my last one because i had the same shade but it expired i grabbed the becca shimmering skin protector this is in the shade rose gold i love this highlighter you guys and i'm really sad that becca is closed i will miss them because they make some of my favorite products and my favorite lip products highlighters foundations like you name it i love it from becca and so i did grab this rose gold highlighter I'll actually take the plastic out but that's it right there and it is so beautiful you guys i'll give you like a quick little swatchy swatch but it literally just looks like skin and it's just beautiful on like deeper darker skin as you can see that's just so pretty like you can't beat it and there's other products like it but honestly nothing can replace the becca formula it's just so beautiful and just gives you a lit from within look that i love so i grabbed that r.i.p becca i found these vava plump 
liquid lipstick liquid shiny liquid lipstick something like that from buxom i'll actually leave the name on the screen so you guys can actually put out the names of these i love these i threw out the packaging i actually filmed it already but i've been using these like crazy i have one in red and i have one in purple first off let's talk about the packaging it has like these lips just engraved on the actual packaging that is just so so cute ah uh, and this formula right here, you guys, I mentioned this in my favorites video. This formula is so bomb. It does have like a satin, almost shiny formula, but it doesn't like move. It doesn't transfer. It might transfer a little bit on your mask when you're wearing it, but honestly, you guys, like it doesn't move. It stays all day, eating, kissing, drinking, the whole thing. These stay on all day all night these are so awesome these are so amazing and i am just so obsessed with these i mentioned these also in my favorites video so check that out as well because these are bomb i'm not sure if i mentioned it but i did grab these two buxom liquid lipsticks in the shade boldly go which is a red and i also grabbed it in the shade make me melt which is like a really dark purple mauvey purple and yeah these are bomb I just looked at the Sephora website either yesterday or today and this was on sale currently and it goes in and out of sale sometimes. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect, what is this? The Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer. This is the pot concealer. Um, I picked mine up in the shade Nutmeg. Y'all, I love this so, so much. I use this to cover up my eyebrows, which you will also see in my eyebrow tutorial, which if it's not out yet or if it is out, I'll link it in the cards down, up below for you guys. But this is my Too Faced Concealer, Potted Concealer. This is um, a matte coverage concealer. I don't like using it under my eyes. I, don't, I have never actually tried it under my eyes, so I don't know how it works to like conceal on the actual face. But I really love thicker concealers, like a thicker consistency to carve out my eyebrows. Just so you know, the girls, so, you know, the, the, the girls, the girls look like twins. You know what I mean? So this concealer is bomb. It's currently on sale for like half off. Regular price is thirty dollars, I believe. Right now, it's like fifteen. So go check out her website if you guys like this. Um, try it out. It's also very affordable. And uh, just a heads up, it does smell a little bit like peach, but it doesn't break me out. I do have some sensitive skin, and so far, so good. Like, really like this concealer. So it's time. It's official. We now need to get into the eyeshadow palettes. Cause that's what we've been waiting for eyeshadow palettes are one of my favorite things to buy some of my favorite things to use i cannot do a makeup look without using eyeshadow eyeshadow is just my thing i cannot live without eyeshadows so let's jump into the eyeshadow palettes that i purchased okay so first off from tj maxx winners i grabbed this cara beauty road tripping eyeshadow palette i originally got this for traveling in the summertime and honestly you guys i barely used it but this is hella pigmented like hella hella pigmented for such a small palette it packs quite a punch sorry guys i didn't want to blind you there and it's really really pretty i also am obsessed with like glitter i love 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 glitter and i love the glitter shades here it's perfect for every day and just adds that nice little spark and i feel like this is really good for like new year's eve too like if you're not into color but you like a little bit of sparkle this will be great for you and again the formula is really great really pigmented so far so good i actually we like this eyeshadow palette and I am not disappointed at all. I was at the drugstore and Perfusion was having like a crazy sale. So I grabbed as many palettes as like I wanted or I could. Because honestly you guys, I'm like, I'm not drowning in eyeshadow palettes, but I have enough. First off from Perfusion, I grabbed this Velvet Matte eyeshadow palette. This is like bomb for every day, you guys. Like I have not yet tried it. And to be honest, you guys, I haven't tried a lot from Perfusion. So this will be one of my first times trying something from Perfusion. Um, but look at this eyeshadow palette. Like how could you not want that? It also comes with a brush, has all matte eyeshadows. This eyeshadow palette, you can't really go wrong with it's all matte. And I love an all matte eye look. It basically works for everyone, super affordable. I have not really like dove into the Profusion 
formula. I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes from Refusion actually that I haven't really tried. So I'm excited to dive into these and try these out. If you have this, let me know how you feel about it because yeah, I, I really want to know your thoughts on Perfusion. Let me know in the comments section down below. I also grabbed this Cheers eyeshadow palette from Perfusion as well. I really love the greens. If you know me, you know I love me a nice green smoky eyeshadow look. I'm obsessed with looks like that. So I had to grab this and this has some shimmer and some greens in there. And I feel like these are really handy for like when you want to travel and you don't want to bring something expensive with you. You just want to have something on hand that works and does a great job. And that's what I think of when I look my lights are washing off the lighting of the eyeshadows just a little bit. It's actually a little bit deeper in person, but yeah, I, I really want to try these out. I'm excited to try out Perfusion because yeah, it's affordable. It has all the mattes and colors that you need. Like I'm excited to try these out. So I have one more like drugstore-ish eyeshadow palette that I guess we should discuss. This one is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Zodiac eyeshadow palette. Now y'all, this has been out forever and this is specifically the Zodiac eyeshadow palette that's Love Signs. Um, again, this has been out for a really long time, but I saw it and something just like drew me in. I don't know what it was. Just something just drew me in. Now y'all, this eyeshadow palette has been out for a while, but I didn't care. I just saw the colors and y'all it just like it just did something to me it did something to me and you'll see why in a second look at this this is cute this is pretty like you you can't deny that and i love you guys know i love sparkles i love sparkles even if you see it on my eyes today i love sparkles so this has a lot of sparkle even like the highlighter in the middle has some sparkle that looks really really pretty let me swatch that really quickly let's see what that looks like Ooh. That's a little ashy on me as a highlighter, but definitely as like an inner corner highlight, we can do something with that. We can definitely work that out. So this is the BH Cosmetics Love Signs Zodiac Eyeshadow Palette. So very quickly, I'm not gonna talk about this eyeshadow palette too, too much, but I did grab the Jaclyn Hill um, and Morphe Divine, Divine, Divine. <laughs> the Divine Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. I don't, okay, let me, ref let me rephrase. I really, really like this eyeshadow palette. For a neutral eyeshadow palette, I mean, is it like reinventing the wheel? Absolutely not. However, the shade range and how like, how the ability that it has to work for everyone, I feel like there's a special word for that that I'm not, I'm having a brain fart right now. But it's just very, what's diverse? That's the word, that's the word. So it's a very diverse eyeshadow palette. I really like this. The formula is not too bad. The shimmer is a little bit stiff, but really, when you really work with them, they have to add like a nice little pop onto the eyes that I really like. I actually reviewed this eyeshadow palette already. I'll link it in the cards up below for you guys to check out that video. Um, I have swatches in there as well, so you can see those. But so far, it's it's a good eyeshadow palette. It's a good standard eyeshadow palette that works for everyone. I actually purchased this from Sephora, and I used my points, so very affordable as well. I believe retail price is $25, but I only paid like $15 because I used my points. So yeah, it's a good, good deal, affordable. It's Morphe. What else can you ask for? I mean, it's Jaclyn Hill, so there you go. I actually purchased two separate eyeshadow palettes from Beauty Bay. First one I grabbed is the Fiery 2.0 eyeshadow palette. Y'all, I am just obsessed with the color scheme. This looks gorgeous, let me show y'all. So here is the Big Daddy eyeshadow palette. Y'all, I am just obsessed with this color scheme. I know it's neutrals, I know everybody gets bored of neutrals, but I love neutrals every day. I just never get bored of them. And as y'all can see, this is just like me. It has glitter, has sparkle, it has some neutrals, it has a little bit of pop of color, some red, some purples, some orange just very warm neutral eyeshadow palette i live for these and i cannot wait to try out this formula so the very final eyeshadow palette and final item that i grabbed for this haul is from be perfect this is the dream big eyeshadow palette y'all i love the packaging first of all it's just so shiny i love anything shiny here is the eyeshadow palette from be perfect these colors at first when you look at them i'm like what but then I took another look at it and I was like, ooh, I actually can do a lot of different things with this. Like, I like this little green and blue quad here. I like these different formulas of like these pressed like shimmers. I really like can't wait to try these out and see what those look like on the eyes. Cause you know, you all know I love sparkle on the eyes. 
so they have some of these marble shades too that i'm really excited to try out and i haven't tried anything from be perfect but i know people rave about the formula so i cannot wait i cannot wait to try this out from be perfect and again this eyeshadow palette is just it's it it's it she's bomb she's beautiful and again i don't know what the formula is like but so far this color scheme is really it it's what got me all right you guys so that is it thank you so so much for joining me for this haul i appreciate all your love and all your support and i'll see you in the next video bye guys